Uh, to continue with plot, uh, now, like I said, like we saw in the previous video, that a plot centers around a conflict. And if there's no conflict, then there's apparently no plot. So which are the four types of conflict? So in the first case, uh, it could be man versus man. Generally, we see this kind of conflict in most of the epics where uh, there's a hero and there's a villain and the whole conflict is uh, could be the archetypal clash between um, good and evil so if you look at the indian epics uh, the ramayan or the mahabharat you will uh, see that in case of ramayan it is ram um, who is the hero versus ravan who is the villain and the conflict uh, centers around the abduction of Sita, which is followed by an epic battle in which the hero defeats the villain. If you look at Mahabharat, similarly, you will see it is conflict between two human uh, beings or maybe two kinds of ideologies or two uh, human communities. So it is the Pandavas on the one side and the Kauravas on the other. Very often, even in the Greek epics, you will find a similar kind of uh, conflict. Like if you, uh, for example, uh, if you look at the whole episode of the Trojan War, it will be the Greeks versus the Trojans. So uh, this would normally be the subject of epics. Uh, where it is man on one side and another man on the other side and both men representing two different kinds of worldviews or different ideologies who are clashing. So that's the first kind of conflict. Uh, the second con kind of conflict could be man versus nature, where man is struggling with nature, right? Man is, uh, it is it is nature which is man's adversary. And you will generally find this kind of conflict in adventure novels, especially novels which, uh, which uh, speak about, um, say, voyages, which you know, describe voyages, or which describe the hero's journey into the forest or the desert, and the kind of hardships or the kind of life and death situations which the hero comes across, maybe when he's caught in a storm, or when he's caught in a uh, say uh, in an earthquake or it's a natural calamity which is all encompassing which is very powerful and the hero is just but uh, is but just an ordinary mortal and the hero is not able to do anything so uh, a recent hindi film which comes to my mind is uh, say kedarnath you know if you uh, watch the film you will realize that there are these kinds of conflicts represent. So there's a man versus man conflict where there's a hero and then there's a villain. Um, and on the other hand, there's this whole uh, natural calamity which uh, strikes Kedarnath. So it's the hero versus the natural calamity. So the hero caught in the thick of the storm and the flood and how... Uh, Basically, he dies saving other people. So you can see from this that uh, films also use these archetypal conflicts and these um, patterns uh, in their plots so that uh, it keeps the viewer uh, engaged and the viewer interested. So these are the two kinds of conflicts. Uh, and then I'll take you through the uh, remaining two kinds of conflicts in the subsequent video.